Hello, today is July 13th, 2024. As always, we'll do our disclaimer first, go over our calls, and then make predictions. This is my trading plan for Monday, which is July 15th, 2024. I have personal business in the afternoon, will not be able to watch the market all day, and may not be risking my own money on this call. So if you are going to risk your own money, do it at your own risk, and remember my calls can be wrong. Friday, we looked for the pattern with the early low, which is this, and Monday's, Monday's pattern should have the early high. We said that this was a negative pattern, and if it were maintained at the open, it should lead to lower prices. Here's what we said. Of course, it wasn't maintained at the open. We capped up, so there was no call. It was killed before the open. And even if I don't say it, it's part of my standard rules. I also tried to call a top here, and that high has been surpassed. It doesn't really kill the idea because there is something called a Trader Vic 2B top, where you set a high for the leg and then go slightly past it in reverse, meaning that still is in play even though we surpassed the high. If that's going to work, we should really start dropping like a stone on Monday, and if we don't, I'm just going to say that one's a miss. During the day, MeJT gave a signal here, it's a buy. That's already played out. We don't have to go anymore. Friday afternoon is probably the least likely time to see a reversal. It certainly, I think, is the least likely time to see a false reversal. The reason is you gapped up hit a high, higher highs, hitting all-time highs, the illiquid weekends coming up. It's not a time when retail customers are going to enter short positions or even close out longs. The only ones who are going to fight a trend like this uh, on the Friday when you're hitting new all-time highs would be the pros who know that the orders to go long have dried up. Now it's possible this gets reversed. You got a wall into the close. I mean, if we gap up and take this out and take this out, the whole idea is killed. But usually when you get these walls on Friday, they continue. And if they do continue, this would be a Trader Vic 2B top. It should lead to much lower prices. If they don't continue, and we Gap up and take this out, I think it's a bullish pattern because you have enough here to signal a decline. The gap up, higher highs, close under all these highs, under this low, even under these highs. That's negative stuff if, and that's underlined if, if it's maintained. There's no reason why. If this is the real thing, we shouldn't drop right from the open. Don't forget Thursday's pattern's negative. It should lead to a lower price. and. We didn't see it Friday, but time runs out on Monday's open, not Friday's close. So if this normal weakness plays out, Monday's open is going to probably take us under this low. Certainly it isn't a guarantee, but this usually follows through. This is usually, if I was right about this being a top, which we don't know at this point, if I was right about this being a top and this a 2B top, there's no reason for us to delay any longer as far as declining. We're also coming into a relatively weak period in the calendar. Now it isn't a weak period. The, in the next few, in the next few months, still, in general, are positive months, but they're certainly far less positive than the rest of the year, from the middle of July till the end of October. That's my granddaughter's commentary in the background there. When you look at this chart, I mean, this really hasn't killed this idea of the ABC. If we have an expanded flat here, there's no law that says we can't go over this and then promptly drop. But the longer we go without dropping, the less thrilled I'm going to be with this interpretation. Well, Monday's pattern has the early high, regardless of where we open. Typically, it's a bearish day with a low in the final hour. But if it's strong, more strength should follow. We gapped up, hit a higher high, but closed under intraday highs and even intraday lows. 
well into the close could reverse, and that would be bullish. But when it occurs on a Friday, the tendency, a strong tendency to follow through on Monday's open. Thursday's pattern should lead to a lower price printing. It hasn't yet. The time doesn't run out until early Monday. So if we get what normally happens, we're going to drop pretty much from the open Monday. And if we don't, I'm going to call this whole idea into question. If the idea that this is a top is correct, we should drop from the open Monday and ideally continue dropping. To gap up instead, particularly at the all-time high we saw Friday is surpassed, the whole idea is called into question. Right now the market is running with scissors. There's no guarantee bulls are going to get hurt, but if they get hurt, if, it could be very severe pain. If this is a 2B top, which is in play at the moment, this drop should just continue right through and just keep on dropping. And if that happens, I think everything I said earlier in the week about this being a top is going to play out. And if I'm wrong, which has happened before, if I'm wrong, this should get reversed right at the open. Take this out, probably take this out and make me look all wet, but I haven't really entered yet, according to the rules. So if it's wrong, it doesn't really cost me any money. It's just a missed opportunity, and I'm willing to live with that. So we're looking for the pattern with the early high. It tends to be a negative pattern. I think the open is going to be telling. This usually follows through. If it follows through, the odds are we could undercut this low, see all these prices. Not in the day, of course. If it doesn't follow through, if this gets reversed and we go up, forget about this. Trader Vic 2B top idea, and I'm going to have to get my erasers out and come up with some other plan. So we'll have to see how we open Monday, and that's today's call.